All right, I'm gonna be honest, man. Sanji is missing out on some crazy lore drops. That's the only thing I can think about. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss. We're back in Zoe today, and we have just found out a lot of things, and a lot of lines are starting to connect here. Sort of the history with Kaido and Wano, and what happened with uh, who was the, I guess, Lord of Wano? I don't know if that's the official title. Odin, who is Momonosuke's dad, and how Kaido and uh, teamed up with an another Shogun or a Shogun gun and had odin killed and momonosuke basically asked luffy hey can you do this too man so yeah but it turns out two other red poneglyphs that point to the direction of raftel are under the control of big mom and and kaido so it kind of works out so yeah we have kind of a, a big checklist ahead of us gonna hop into this if you do the channel make sure you drop a sub and let's get started why is today especially a great day Oh, because, yeah, the bond is reformed. Mm-hmm. Maybe at this point, we won't even find out why Duke and Master Cat Viper were close, or, like, why did they broke up inherently as friends. It had to be something crazy. Either that or something very petty. Mm-hmm. It was that long ago. <laughs> it's a it's a pattern wanda it is a pattern dude there's no way we get hit with the triple banquet in so right three three banquets you guys are celebrating a little too much why is the whale veiny Dude, I'm sorry. He just refers to him as the ninja. Why is he built like that, man? Yeah! A sparkle in his eyes. <laughs> One condition. What, do they have to go find Sanji first? Go and get him. But Luffy was adamant about going alone at first. And I think that's silly. In return, Sanji. <laughs> we need him as part of the army. A thousand people. <laughs> yeah will you be all right mm -hmm. i don't know if i should be more scared of big mom or kaido oh <gasps> me it's me what what am i up to what nefarious activities aside from having ptsd from the navy ships it's the whale tree are they coming back why what would have made them come back oh shoot but not like Luffy and all of them are here. Oh, Jack, what are you doing? Oh, Sheep's Head told him. Why is he hanging like a bat? Sheep's Head got back and told him. Mm. Oh, he's chained up because he left the island. <laughs> you guys are done, though. Mercy will only cause a messy business of revenge. That's so unhinged. I love it. Yeah, I don't know. Luffy's here now, man. That changes a lot. Alone. Oh, what? That is so unhinged. Oh my gosh. Just sink the island? Bro, Jack is crazy. I kind of respect it though. As a villain, that is insanity. That is absolute insanity. It's something only a, a, a murderous, unhinged lunatic would think about. He's like, let's, let's just topple it. Easy. You kind of have to respect a, a part of it. I can't believe he came back. I, I pictured him being like f f so far away. It's Shanks? He knows Shanks? It kind of feels like everybody does. Oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, they would have met him whenever Shanks was younger. Wait, so he... Wait, they were on the ship too? They were on the ship and Odin was on the ship? Were they like the pets? It's Odin's attendance. Ah. They were on Moby Dick. Oh, so they were like Odin's right-hand men or animals. Interesting. The world is building. So they weren't inherently crew members. They were just like Odin's guys. Just like the apprentice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's Usopp doing? Is he writing down lore? Wait, this is a really nice visual. Although we don't still don't know what Odin looks like. 
I want to see a flashback to see how small the cat was. Oh, wait. Hold on. That was flashback sound. Come on. Come on. Don't just give me shadows. The sea of clouds in the sky. And I went everywhere. Fishman Island. Dude, Roger Ship. Oh, I forgot the name of it. Well, Tom built it. Dude, look! Look how good of comrades they are. Kinemon's been in Wano. Okay. <laughs> They're worried about him, probably. How long has Wano been closed off? Even leaving is a crime. But wasn't he Lord? Couldn't he change that law? A daimyo. Is that his title? Oh, that was Odin's title? Like a Lord? Really? I hope he's doing well. Even Luffy likes seeing the lights connect. The Oro Jackson, that was the name. Yep. Hey, I already brought it up, Frankie. Don't worry about it, man. Dude, I love all the, the pieces connecting. It's so cool. Can I go next? <laughs> Everybody's saying like how they're connected to it. What? Poor Brooke. He called next, Nami. Mm -hmm. Road Ponegos. It's the red ones. Red Road. Why? They're not tracking any islands? We're tracking the red, the road Ponogov ones. So my guess is that Odin was more like very different like mindset from all of Wano and he was trying to preach like opening up Wano and then they used that as a, as a reason to execute him. That's what it sounds like. I like, probably called him like dangerous and crazy. Every rule will come to one in the end. It'll eventually end at Raftel, no? Yeah, it has to. Yeah, that's how I pictured it the whole time. <laughs> He's just excited to hear a crocus mentioned, even though Burke was about to bring it up. Labu. I hope Laboon's doing okay. I figure Crocus is. He was looking for some pirate group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're all dead. There's one place. Wouldn't it take forever to hit every single island, though? I guess it depends on how many there are. Lies beyond the log pose? Like a grander journey. Finding out about polyglyphs and the ancient script should change their trajectory, he's saying. That created those. Dude, it teases it so hard. Dude, everything all over again? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy knowing like Crocus, Rayleigh knows like everything. Everything. They're just chilling. We knew so far long ago. It's insane. He's the only one that's been there with his crew. Gosh, dude. It's so chills. Dang! Ah, oh, it gets me so geeked, man. Already on a journey beyond the end. Nami's like, this changes everything. That's a cool moment. Yeah, what? You're not in a rush to get there. It's all about that journey. Logs yeah, actually, that's true. Don't doubt it. Don't let all this new info confuse you. <laughs> Luffy's like, I didn't understand any of that. The best in the business, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What did I say? He said, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I know him too well, man. <laughs> Chopper's like actually concerned. That's a, that's a really cute moment. I feel like it's going to tease soon what he's doing to the elephant. I'm kind of worried about the elephant. Yo, Dizzy, like when I met Rayleigh, every time there's lore. 
I was gonna say, yeah, Momo had to be really young. Wait, yeah, that doesn't make sense. No! No! What about Sanji? Someone we need to see. Ooh. More recruits. Former first division commander of the white. Wait, what? Marco? Wait, what? Marco. Do they know where he is? Actually, yeah, that's kind of a good point. What happened to Marco after the war? Where did he go? That's so random though. I mean, maybe now knowing like sort of the connections and like how Odin was sort of maybe close with like Whitebeard and Roger and all them, they could have known Marco via Whitebeard's crew. But again, so random, 773. Where did he go at? No, Luffy does not remember him. My goodness gracious. Luffy's one of the only people at the Straw Hats that met him. Actually, any, no? Yeah, none of them were in board. And he's the only one he doesn't remember. Even we can find him, so they don't even know where that he is. Ah, Luffy. Even Usopp knows where he would have met him. What was it, like Phoenix? Phoenix fruit? No shot! No shot! That's what does it! No shot! And then all, what, all the memories come flooding back? Yeah, Marco's kind of a Chad. I hadn't really even considered where he's been, to be honest. I feel like I should have. He was literally his right-hand man. There was this war? Another? Clashing the remnants of the white pirates led by Marco and the black. <gasps> what? The so-called grudge war, and we didn't see it. <laughs> the remnant white beard pirates fought the black beard pirates. The grudge war. I think I know where he'd be. Where? His house? Oh, I feel like they got rolled. Oh my gosh, man. I mean, Blackbeard alone is just a menace with his devil fruits. Devil fruits. We didn't see this war? The light versus the dark. They wanted a revenge for their captain. A crushing defeat, I can imagine, man. That was how he became an emperor. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. I honestly thought just it was like the Marine Ford that did it. Oh. Mm -hmm. I have to remember they weren't there. I always think they were. I don't know why. I mean, yeah, Marco was strong enough to match a Kainu. To an extent. Now Jinbei's doing well too. Oh. Wait, where, where do they think he is? What a strategy in Wano. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say it. Yeah, I feel like you go in, you get targeted. Occupied. Oh, boy, Law, yes, sir. Good offer, good offer. It's like they were like baiting him into offering it. <laughs> They're like, oh man, if only we knew someone with a submarine. So who is the Shogun that Kaido's teamed up with? Or is it just gonna not dead us? Kinemon's Vivir card, good idea, good idea. Mm. Says you! Oh. Aw, oh, they're so excited to see him. So do we know why he was chained up or was it just so he didn't leave? Cause like he felt guilty for them dying for him. I'm, I'm assuming that's why he was chained up. They never said. They're still happy to see him. Guys, guys, I'm gonna be honest. I think you're kind of blowing your whole load on banquets here. They're gonna have a banquet and the, the, the elephant's gonna start to fall. Reconciliation of the two kings. These guys are so party happy. That's gotta be a slur. Oh, sorry for locking you up. Okay, well, that, yeah, that, I think that's probably why. He didn't want them to be hurt or anything for his sake. So we also still don't really know why he was targeted out of anyone. Is it just because he's a strong ninja from Wano? I guess it kind of makes sense with what we know about Kaido now and how Jack is Kaido's subordinate. What is he doing? Is he doing a ninja art? Oh! 
Okay, dude. His love is overflowing. Razo. Are ninjas just like rare? Maybe that's why. Like there, he's like one of a kind, basically. Chopper. So stupid. <laughs> guys, guys, this marks the third banquet since we lost Sanji. It's starting to feel like we're celebrating him being gone. Not gonna lie. Time to kind of get a move on. I feel like I'm the only one on task here. There's no time to waste, man. Oh, I feel like that's what Nami's about to say to him. More than one. Oh, he wasn't here for the first. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh my, oh my great googly moogly. I feel responsible. <laughs> yeah, how are you gonna get there? Well, aside from Peckham's. What do you mean I'm coming to? Of course, you all have to come. You're the straw hats, bro. <laughs> Why are they acting like they need reasons to stay together? Oh. I guess because Luffy originally said he was going alone. I mean, do you mind? That's your crew. Yeah, what are you saying, Luffy? He's got to get back to Wano. Oh, I'll miss Kidamon, bro. It's like we've been through so much with them already since Punk Hazard. As soon as you screw up the wedding, surely it'll go swimmingly. Wait, what? You guys are coming? What? Guys! Take a rubbing if you find a Pokemon. Straw hats stay together challenge. Difficulty absolutely impossible. Bro, I, I don't understand. I get that we need to go to Wano and help fight against Kaido. Uh, uh, when are we going to have an arc where all the straw hats are together? I guess Punk Hazard. Uh oh, they're about to shoot at the elephant. It's, it's going to begin. It can't be easy to take it. Oh. They realized it. The hair on the cat's tail. It has to be insanely hard to take it down, no? Don't hurt him. He's crying. No. Oh my gosh. No way is that easy. Is it like, is it like rearing up? What's happening? No, this poor elephant. This is actually insanely five head of Jack, though. I won't lie. Unbiased. Pick him snow! Run! Zunisha's crying. Is Zunisha the name of the elephant? I didn't know they named it. Oh, Luffy's locking in. Like I said, oh, wait. Is this observation? Whose voice? This has happened before where Luffy hears voices other people don't. Is it Zunisha? It's like an innate ability. Cause then it, it happened in Fishman? The Sea Kings maybe? And they did make sure to mention that. I think he is hearing the elephant. There are some things that you they designate that you're like, okay, they're going somewhere with this. They're going down like a rabbit hole with this. Maybe it's innate to like, no, I would say D, but now we know law and law isn't hearing anything. I don't think <laughs> they're just worried about Momo. Oh, wait, can Momo hear it too? Oh, this poor elephant, man. What are they supposed to do? Oh. Oh. They, they do both hear it, him and Momo. Oh, shoot. What does it mean? It's the elephant speaking to them. Oh. But they even said Momo has a D initial. So I, I and then like I said, Law would have noticed it too. So it's not that. Hmm. I would ask if it's like Conqueror's hockey, but we don't know if Momo even. I don't. I don't think Momo's even old enough to have hockey. <laughs> Yeah, they would have to do a lot to topple this elephant. That's why he said hurry. The elephant knows more is coming. It's been living for a millennium. That's insane. It sounds so sad. Dude, I want Luffy to just go flying off the elephant like fourth gear and just slam into him. God, Jack is a menace, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! 
I don't think you guys just I don't even see Gouge's eyes. I don't even see any eyes, man. I'm gonna be honest. Give me an order. Huh? Like they can command him? That's a command. Like, I don't know if I would consider the elephant a sea king or not. Dang, bro. Things are getting juicy. Okay, so I don't remember. I think they said Roger had the same ability or like in passing, they said he was able to hear some voices that others didn't. I don't remember who said it exactly, but it was also said in Fishman Island. And then Luviar has also heard a voice in Fishman Island and I'm guessing it was a Sea King's voice. So is Luffy kind of similar to like Shirahoshi that he has like some in Luffy and Momo, they have like an innate ability to hear and command like large creatures because like i was gonna say i don't know if i would consider zunisha a sea king because those are usually like actual like aquatic creatures this is just an enormous elephant i don't know man it is very very juicy though i will say i love this lore building i love them realizing the connections even like the small things like frankie bringing up that he was tom's pupil and them like freaking out about it it's so cool dude it uses all these pieces and makes you feel like you haven't wasted time no matter where we've gone and even that moment moment with Nami I feel like it's very necessary was like her doubting the thing about the log post and him being like no don't worry about anything just like don't doubt yourself take what you've learned and found along the way and use it together don't go like completely one way or the other just keep on this journey because this journey is where you've gotten to these different places and found out these different things it was really cool but I guess we're gonna find out next time what uh, what, what goes on with the elephant and maybe Luffy can give it an order maybe Momo can I don't know that's been it for my reaction today though I hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one is base